Last updated 11:24 the 6th of June 2018 Getty Images World Rugby Vice Chairman Agustin Picho isn't happy with Brad Shields switching allegiance to England. Getty Images England coach Eddie Jones has been extra quick to utilize the services of New Zealand flanker Brad Shields. Rugby World Rugby Vice Chairman Agustin Picho has joined the Brad Shields debate, claiming rugby is losing something by his selection for England. The 27-year-old flanker, granted an early and temporary release to play for England in South Africa during the Super Rugby break ahead of his permanent shift to London Club Wasps, has settled into camp quickly in Durban. Veteran New Zealand sports broadcaster Keith Quinn posted a photo of Shields in his English jersey on Twitter and asked, Is this a sad picture? I think so, what about you? Argentinian great Picho couldn't resist a reply, I'll go say este perdiendo, something's missing, in English. We are losing something. The game is losing something, read more, asterisk Eddie Jones reveals, rugby's Donald Trump, asterisk Shields impresses in England training, asterisk barbs continue as Shields joins England in saw, asterisk Irish Eels, ready for Wallabies when former England and British. Still think, regulations can say another thing, it depends in each case and how many years you have lived and loved the country and jersey you are representing. How can we measure that? By parents? Grandparents? Years? Very difficult. I have my personal opinion, Masterton born Shields qualifies for England via both his parents who moved to New Zealand in their childhood. New Zealand Rugby believed they could have tested the rules in the Shields case with World Rugby but eventually decided to allow him to be available early to England as an act of good faith to a long-serving player. Add feedback Picho was instrumental in having World Rugby extend the qualification period for players to switch countries from three to five years living in their new country. It has been something of a crusade for Picho who voiced his concerns over the subject when he was elevated to the vice chairman role of the sports governing body in 2016. When you have players who haven't lived in the country that they represent, it's not great Picho said at the time. I think it is very important to keep the identity of our national teams. As a cultural thing, as an inspiration to new kids, I think having on your team players who have not lived for long, in the country they are, representing, I think it's not right. When I see the national anthem and people not singing it, it confuses me a little bit. Britain's Telegraph newspaper reported the Picho development and noted there was plenty of irony in the Shields situation as he settled into his new environment. They reminded their audience that Shields had won a World Under-20 title with New Zealand in 2011. They beat England 33-22 in the final and Shields was playing against six players he now finds as teammates at senior international level, George Ford, Owen Farrell, Elliot Daly, Mako Vunipola, Joe Launchbury and Dan Robson. Stuff.